How's it going, me mateys? <laughs> me mateys. That's um, a good one. Like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. It just came to me. Um, how's it going, everybody? Ooh, looks like I'm out of focus, but uh, how's it going? Welcome to On the Block. Um, it's a real low key episode. Um, snow's taking it out of me, as everyone's, uh, of course, aware. It's snow pockets out there. Spencer, yeah. how's it going? How deep is the snow there? Oh, man. It's. Uh, what is it? Uh, like, like 10 feet? Uh, knee high by the 4th of July. That's <laughs> what I... <laughs> we, uh, we had some snow. We had, like, like, I think we got around five or six inches around here, but it was like melted the next day. Jesus Christ! So it just uh, it really only made for like a. It was awesome because we just had uh, MLK Day, which made like a three day weekend. Okay, and then go then ahead. we had three days. Like I didn't work Friday because the weather. Mm-hmm. So it was like only like three day work week, and I got another three day weekend. So I'm just gonna be lazy as hell. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of snow, and everyone goes fucking nuts. Oh That's yeah, great. well, like you know, like here, like we have. Uh, you know, like our cities and stuff, they they have money for uh, like like boats and stuff because like the river or like a lake or something like that. <laughs> and lakes. like they don't, <laughs> Come well, there's on. lakes. Well, there's several ten thousand lakes. lakes up in this bitch. Well, yeah, yeah, Let's exactly. Go. You got ten thousand lakes. Just got bad weather. So like, what I'm saying is like no. we don't factor in any kind of budgets for like snow I'm plows so and shit like yeah. that. So when things do get bad and like here, like it'll snow and all this sleet and ice and winter mix, and it'll be all kind of bad and then it'll melt. Yeah. And then, like, overnight it'll refreeze, so then it's ice. Yeah. And then, like, so then everybody's sliding and shit. Yeah, it's just fire. Yeah, I saw some pretty but, crazy videos. But anyway, how's the work been going? Um, it's been going good. Um, it's, it's good? pretty crazy. Yeah. Cool. Pretty uh, crazy? Yeah, with, the, like, the gas prices right now, like, everything is in fucking free fall. So, like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's what, what's your... What's, what's, what are they at your station right now? Um, the... La- like, the, s- the cheapest was 155 Okay, okay. I think I gave 153 for it the other day. Okay. But that yeah. was like with my Kroger points. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, that's what good. is What is like the uh, like brand of your station? or? Um, It's like, we're not technically anything. Okay, like okay. Like independent? Yeah, okay. but we like, we used to sell BP gas and like, the, we have all the branded BP garbage. Uh, but okay. we're trying to get rid of all that stuff. And because, okay, so, yeah, we're like, yeah. Uh, Hey, just kind of like a word of the wise, like uh, BP and things like that. Uh, those logos are valuable. So, like any signage that like is uh, just up for grabs, it's going to be thrown away and discarded. Yeah. Well, yeah, just dude, there's a market for it. It's like eBay, the shit out of it. Really? I mean, seriously, yeah, absolutely, it's a huge market for that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. anything that yeah. Has, yeah, anything printed like that. I mean, there's there's uh, print ads and stuff. There's a, a market for it. I mean, not if it's like paper, typically. <laughs> some but like if it's like a plastic or some type of special sign or like. Uh, like a press molded sign and then like that. This is gonna be tossed like Coca Cola or some shit, dude. If it's just there, fucking snag it. No, I should go to my shit. fucking dad's work. He, that's what he fucking he makes signs. That's all they fucking um, just laying around. Yeah. So uh, what else is good? You and got the projects you've been working on. I noticed you've been uh, been doing your Twitch a I'm lot. Trying to Twitch a lot. Yeah, doing that yeah. a lot. Fucking, we gotta start. I'm gonna do a 24 hour stream to do the charity uh, for oh, the reality good. rally. Uh, Michelle's place. Everyone, please donate to me. Spencer's already fucking. I'm good. He's yeah, already met his goal, everybody. so fucking yeah. please donate to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, and, and there honestly, there's a potential that Marilyn uh, will accompany nah, me. Ah, fuck thing. that. Donate to me. Yeah. <laughs> fuck that bullshit. But no, no, for real, we gotta get McCray. We gotta get McCray there first and foremost. Yeah, so. I'm feeling left out. Yeah, no, you're not left out. I'm right. fucking. I'm raising money at the gas station, and I'm like fucking. Don't put the you cheapest... on your picture. It says tips. You're not trying to get fucking tips. No, I know. Well, my thing was, I like my friend fucking wrote it for me, and he thought that literally, like, it was like he was thought I was bullshitting essentially, and I was like, no, dude, it's actually for a charity. But he had already written it out there, and I was like, well, if people are giving to me and it says tips, like, fuck it, like that's not bad. So I did it the second night, and then the third night I just had like crappily written on charity. But I mean, I don't know. I made like like, almost forty bucks now. Oh, that's awesome. See, I told you you could make money, and you just ask him. But at least like, this is what you need to do. Yeah. Go just, like, print out a fucking thing off the website. Just say a little right up at Michelle's place and put it out there. Just be legit about it. Let him know, know what the, you know, and you're pulling like a little plastic heartstring. box. Yeah, but, I mean, it's, like, it's honestly a good thing. It's a great cause. So. Yeah, exactly. I, um, anyway. yeah, it's, I don't know. I want people to fucking match, like, what I make at the end of the night. I want people to be, I want, like... All right, I'm doing a fucking oh, like 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 a you, pool for days, and you yeah, match. You, yeah, you yeah, match whatever the fuck I make tonight, you know. 
Okay, okay. That, that's kind of cool. It's like I've only yeah. made like tops, like whatever, 15 bucks one night. Well, because it says tips and then charity. <laughs> like, tell no, them dude, you don't understand. This is, the, this is like the cheapest fucking, like, it's, gas is so cheap. People are driving everywhere. They're not fucking going to be like, I, everyone's like, I'm my own damn charity. Fuck you. Well, they got that. that this is in fucking they privileged got, ass <laughs> Arkansas. Yokel ass. <laughs> yes, yes. I know. I know. It's born so fortunate here. But, uh, no, dude, I think if you're just honest to people, it's a great cause. I don't see why people... No. You know, Everyone's been super generous. Are super, yeah, hey, generous. If I was in a place and they said, hey, man, you meant throwing your change and you were trying to raise money to help people... I do it every fucking time. ...trying to get, go through treatment with breast cancer, I'd be like, boom, absolutely. Yeah. No. I do it almost every time because I'm like, so, oh, fuck it. But, uh, anyway, that's... Uh, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. When are you going to do that 24-hour Twitch? Set the dates. You know what you need to do? Where are you at? You just fuck somebody. Man, I did the same thing I did last time again. All right, hold on. We're coming back. Um, uh, that's so funny. Um, yeah, I don't know the dates. It's gonna be probably the first or the. Hey, since your gas station oh, job is the only job thing. you have, mm -hmm. what's that? Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see me. It's a hundred percent. Okay. Wrong, I think. Okay. Um, if <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> If your gas station job is the only job you have, why don't you tell them you need a regular schedule because you got other shit that you need to plan, like schedules for too. Like have your Twitch on a regular schedule and that kind of stuff. Like why won't they give you a regular schedule? Why is it always up in the air? Mm, just because it's like, I don't know, everyone's schedule is up in the air kind of. Well, know. but tell, can you not tell your whoever does the schedule and say, hey, I need to Yeah, set I can do that, but it's like, what am I, what's my schedule going to be? Well, I don't know. Find out. <laughs> I don't know either. Well, then, but then like you could have your Twitch on a regular schedule. You yeah, could have on the block on a regular schedule. And it would be easy for you to do everything. Instead of being like, I don't know when I can do anything. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, fuck, if it was all four to midnight, then fuck, it's four to midnight. We'll have to get our shit done when we can or on the weekends, you know? Yeah. So. No, I, uh, there, I'm back. Um, yeah, I want to do that. It's just tough because it's like everyone's got fucking plans and everyone's got their own fucking life too, but, you know? Yeah, but fuck them. You need to ask. Put yourself ahead <laughs> of the line, man, by asking. I know. If, they're not, if they don't care enough to ask... Then you know who gives a fuck? They might not care enough to need one. But like, I just gotta is... fucking, I just gotta mark off the days of just like, all right, these are the times when I'm gonna do stuff. You know. Well, yeah, I mean, just tell you like, oh, just go to the boss and say, boss man, guess what? I need to have some regular hours. I'm working here for you for this long. You know, I can't have this erratic schedule. I got the lady at home. We need to be able to plan shit. You know, yeah, and I my sleep schedule's fucked. I mean, I mean, seriously. My sleep schedule's fucked. Like, you're not, you're not in school. You don't have any, like, things that, like, in the way that, like, you've got to be working a certain time. Like, just get it set up and do it. Because yeah. you can work, like, a split type thing. You can work, like, three days, four to 12, and, like, two days open or whatever. You know, if you did that, that'd be fucking really nice. That'd be a good schedule. Yeah. So, that'd be the best of both worlds. But anyway. Yeah, get my uh, house in order. Can't do I'm not doing that. Yeah. It's a waste of time. Yeah. Shit. You got so much shit going on that when your schedule's fucked up and uh, it's hard for you to get fucking, it's hard for you to get shit balanced, you know? Yeah. I'm the same way. When I, my schedule's fucked up, like when I wasn't working, when I wasn't doing stuff, I couldn't get anything done because I was like, I'll do it tomorrow. And I was like, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, I'll do it tomorrow. I don't get fucking shit done. I turned into fucking, oh my God. This podcast has become week after week just like set McCray straight. <laughs> it's like, get your shit together, McCray. <laughs> it's, yeah, I know. No shit. No Obviously, shit. it's like, Dr. Phil, no. I'm sorry, I don't mean to come across Oh, no, like no, I'm not saying, like, I'm just saying that literally, I think it's been three weeks now that we've just talked about how much fucking I'm suck. Well, no, you don't suck at all. Um, you don't suck at all. Fucking, uh, well, let's talk about your, I just, um, get, I just get anxious when, like, when, like, the, for one, when their podcast schedule's up in the air. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I, you know how I am about it, like. It's tough, like, with Big Brother, at least, like, it's so much easier for me to keep a schedule, because it's, like, it's tied to Big Brother, and it's yeah, like something yeah. that I already planned, fucking everything yeah. around. Like when yeah. Big Brother comes, like I will definitely have all that shit scheduled out. Like I'll be have, I'll have everything marked off, ready to go. Like uh, might as well get ahead of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Start doing that. <laughs> it's yeah. funny. Speaking but of Big no, Brother, oh, fucking let's talk big, about Big Brother Canada Four. Yeah, Big Brother Canada. Uh, that's I've, oh, I heard a juicy rumor today. Well, let's spill it. Spill the beans. I can't spill the beans because, I don't know, it's supposed to be under wraps, I guess. But no, no you, fucking, you, heard it from, you heard it on the internet. You heard it on Reddit. No, I didn't. You heard it on Reddit. Let's hear it. I heard it from Arlie. Yeah, it was, shut the fuck up. If you just say that you heard it on Reddit, then you can say that you what it is, and then Arlie won't be in trouble. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, I mean, like, it's honestly, 
honestly, it's not it's not that appetizing to me. It's not what I heard that appetizing to me. What's I'm gonna that? guess that it's All Stars because I don't think you want All Stars yet, so that would be unappetizing to you. No, actually, that's funny because uh, you know, in our discussion, we talked about All Stars, and I, I mean, they've got a lot of great players, a lot of good personalities that we've had mm-hmm. uh, just in a short amount of time. But I think the ratings, I assume, are good, so I don't think that they would. I don't think would shoot their wad with an All Stars this early. Like, wait till maybe ratings have dipped or gotten like kind of stale, mm. or possibly you've got like five or six seasons. You want to keep things hot and popping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and. Uh, and then bring out the All Stars. So anyway, I, I, you know me. I always want to see friends play again. So I hope that BB eighteen is All Stars, and I hope that uh, there's returning players in BB Can four. So, so Spencer, tell us what we're going to do about the coverage for Big Brother Canada this year. Oh, uh, okay. Well, Big Brother Canada, like we have talked about, that we're not going to be uh, basically not doing the same thing that we typically do with our uh, three recaps a, a week and uh, you know post these interviews. We might do some type of interview at the end. Uh, I don't know. We haven't really talked about that, but I'm I'm up for some involvement that way. But I don't know. We we're, we're going to keep up with spoilers. We're going to watch feeds. We're also going to uh, you know obviously keep up with the spoilers on Twitter and all that kind of stuff. And however McCray keeps up with them, you know obviously hamster watch and all sorts of stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know I don't want to be it, with my job. It's going to be hard with McCray work, and it's hard to, to give it the commitment that we want to give BBUS. So this year we know we've talked about doing things a little bit different. Uh, and we're probably going to have um, – we, right now we're in talks with a couple people on basically bringing an on-the-block uh, Canada version that will be hosted by some former Canadian uh, Big Brother players. And I think, honestly, we've asked a few people that will be phenomenal. And it's just mm-hmm. – it is a commitment because we honestly do kind of expect it to be done the way we do it. We take it very seriously with them too also. And it's a huge time commitment. And we were looking at the uh, – we'll talk about our sound cloud here in a minute – but the SoundCloud, all of our Big Brother 17 uh, rundowns, that was like that's nearly 19 hours of just those interviews. Pure and, entertainment. <laughs> and, and we did not give a, we didn't get a, a Devon or Clay, even though we interviewed Devon on a press uh, press day interview. Uh, but I didn't put that on there because that's not a game a game uh, breakdown. Uh, and Clay, we had him on twice, but we didn't do an official game breakdown with him, so I didn't put that in our playlist for SoundCloud. But uh, you know, it is time consuming, and we want the people to take it seriously and do an awesome job because. You know, obviously, we 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 really take pride in the in the uh, kind of information about Big Brother that we contribute to the community. So, uh, yeah, but we like I said, we've, we've got people we've got people that are trying to figure out if they can put it on their schedule. And it's uh, it, I don't know, honestly, it might be two shows by two different people, or it might be one show. I, I still think that we could almost the, get away with maybe three, and well, then me thing, and you do one. Like we My do thing one is week this, still, and we do it finale. This, this is we do the it? way I feel like yeah. everybody's got different fans. Everybody's got different uh, input, different you know, an outlook on the game. They have different insights from mm-hmm. their own game. So even if we have uh, kind of maybe like one, two, three different things kind of going on each week, providing regularly scheduled content, mm-hmm. um, I think it might be kind of like a, a variety of opinions, uh, yeah. and it might be it might still provide the best coverage out there. Well, plus, and, yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, again, like on the Blog Network YouTube channel, subscribe. Well, and if we don't want to fucking like, if we don't want to participate as much, it's better for us to do like the night of eviction, so yeah. that we can talk about like the most recent event. Then we can Absolutely. get some of the other people fucking that can dig a little bit deeper during the week, you know, when shit's really sure. popping off, sure. not when and, the air shows happen. And, you know, and it might just really be, you know, we talk about the Big Brother community. This might be a, a community show, group effort to, to cover it. And it might end up being a really good format that people enjoy. Um, now, talking about, about uh, formats, you know, we've, we've had people ask a lot about an audio version just because they want to drive on their car and listen to our podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, now we do have, I've got the stuff uh, put on the SoundCloud. And I'm I'm a goofy hillbilly old man. I don't know whether SoundCloud's even cool or hip, and people use that. But it is on there, and you can listen to it, and it's free. Yeah. So go to it. Um, just it's on the block podcast. Go there and, and search. We've got all of the pit stop episodes on there in a playlist uh, for Mikey and Rochelle. Uh, that is at Mikey Zero and at Rochelle Deville. We've got uh, at Fy Maxwell Max Dawson's podcast. All his episodes, all eight of. Uh, all the fixings are on there. You can listen to those. We also have every one of our uh, on the block off season episodes we've done. This one that you're listening to now is is included on that playlist. And um, also we have all of our Big Brother 17 game breakdowns on there. I'm going to get the Big Brother 16 uh, game breakdowns on there because I think that is a uh, I think that's honestly probably one of our finer bodies of work. 
mm-hmm. as far as this podcast is, is concerned, are these game breakdowns. I think people enjoy those. So, uh, you know, like, I mean, okay, let's be honest. That Vanessa interview, it was like seven hours long, <laughs> okay? Like, it would be really hard to sit in front of a computer and watch it unless you had a job where you could have it on, have headphones on, and listen to it like that. But now that it's on this audio, you know, on SoundCloud, mm-hmm. it's going to be a lot more convenient for people to give it a listen and, uh, and you know, um, yeah, be able to chime in. So and with uh, the SoundCloud comes... Um... Now it's actually going to iTunes. Like it's like so Max's podcast and uh, Rashawn Mikey's podcast. So when um, I put it on SoundCloud, it goes to iTunes also. Yeah, like it automatically. So all I of have, our shits on there. Yeah, our stuff is all already on iTunes now, and it's all going to be mixed together. Um, if you search iTunes right now, uh, look up on the block podcast. Uh, okay. You'll, you'll see well, either there's two accounts. I think one has my pizza face, and then the other one says on the block. I think they both are linked to the same thing. I don't know how to get rid of them, but. Uh, well, yeah, let's figure that. One. Let's figure out how to clean it up so that there's no confusion, and let's get our standard on the block uh, Earth Dog uh, picture. Yeah. Um, also, we do need to get uh, we do need to talk to Earth Dog. So, um, Earth Dog, whenever you watch this, now we're gonna know when you do. Yeah, we, uh, should, we need to talk we need about Earth Dog symbol need, that we throw up in the sky. Yeah, we certainly do because <laughs> there is gonna be basically with the show we're gonna need thumbnails <laughs> every week for the episodes. We need things, the overlays. We gotta have that kind of stuff. And uh, anyway, we've got uh, at Rainbow Monster that's done some excellent Photoshop for me in the past. But Earth Dog is always our go-to. It's kind of developed the look of our show with the overlay that you see on YouTube always. I mean, it's always been Earth Dog mm, stuff. Yeah. And, uh, you know, all the uh, thumbnails look incredible when we do an interview. I think it looks awesome when that's uh, posted, when you see it on Twitter. I'm scrolling up. And, like, you know, uh, they did the one of, uh, like, Austin with the shirt off all, like, looking fucking pumped. <laughs> You know, for his interview, and yeah. it's like, oh man, that is exciting, and it's like, it's a good. But anyway, it's a good feel, it's a good vibe, yeah. and uh, I think it really contributes a lot. Uh, Definitely to, the to third the unspoken so, member of the show. We had, no, absolutely. So we've got to get, uh, we got to get in touch uh, with Earth Dog about getting kind of set for what we're going to do going into Big Brother Canada, especially when we kind of get the go ahead from some of our other stuff, uh, other people. I want to start getting that on the YouTube channel, so people are expecting, kind of advertising it. We'll do another little show, mm-hmm. have something kind of advertise that, uh, because seriously, like. Like we all, we're obviously here for Big Brother. We love Big Brother, and we want to provide the best fucking content. We always say that, but like now that we have access to these people, we are the friends. You love these people. You watch them play, and to hear their their insight on it, you know, it, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll be. You know, that's the funnest thing about that, hanging out not with been these out people. Here before. Yeah, that's the funnest thing about hanging out with these people is talking game with them, bullshit, and then fucking getting their insight. And you know, like uh, the the viewers, like you guys don't ever get to hear, you know, John Party just uh, as an yeah. example, give his fucking rundown of the game. And so now, like, we have the opportunity to literally give you guys a yeah. piece of that uh, from all these great characters. Yeah. Uh, well, it's like you know, okay, when I was at the railroad and I was talking, these to be Scott Ken and and John. And uh, uh, Molly, that worked there, and uh, and Hog, another Big Brother fan. And we don't talk about Big Brother, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, it it was fun when we talk about all these players and stuff. And, you know, it was was a fun thing to do. But now I get to talk to, uh, you know, I mean, people that have played, people that won. Like, I get to talk to Ian Terry. You know, and I was talking about Ian Terry to these people. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So, like, it's a lot of fun. And and really, really, that's one thing that even with our, our Big Brother U.S. coverage, if it's successful... Uh, with at least the response, it comes back po- you know positive for the most part. Mm-hmm. Uh, with our kind of sporadic Big Brother Canada coverage, you know when we do US, we may have uh, you know if we do three shows a week, we might do one show where it's two different people talking every week and just try to instead of having guests on, just set up two different people talking about it. Me and you could just be kind of you know like mediators behind the scenes, yeah. Media, yeah, just get it going and let two other people talk about it every week. Yeah, so I think that would be like a cast awesome. of characters, fucking bad yeah, and brave and bold. Exactly. Like yeah, dude, it could be our rogues gallery of yeah, exactly. uh, on the block guests. Exactly. Yeah. So it'll be a lot of fun. But uh, oh, one thing that I really need to mention is um, uh, I was I was given the the honor to look at a kind of a, a preview of a comic book that's coming out. <laughs> Everybody knows that I read comics. I'm always into it, talking about that uh, different ones I'm reading on the podcast and stuff. But uh, Joe Harris at Joe Harris, uh, you may know him from X Files or Great Pacific. He's got one coming out, Snowfall. Uh, it, it's uh, the last day to pre-order. I need to mention is Monday, January twenty-fifth. So it's DEC fifteen o five thirty-nine is the pre-order code. DEC fifteen o five thirty-nine. Go tell your local comic book store that you uh, want to get Snowfall. It's 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 really cool. It's like uh, 
uh, basically kind of like a he he writes a lot of like eco stuff. Like okay, Great Pacific for one. I'll show you here is uh, about this dude that colonizes um, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. He takes one thing I like about Joe Harris is he's able to take a cool idea and like really go very far with it. So in Snowfall, it's kind of like uh, it takes place in the future where weather's fucked and it's kind of like uh, weather terrorism. And uh, anyway, I'm, I'm really excited to see where you think this idea because the world that he's built in his first three issues that I was able to read um, is is really it's it's really kind of uh, fun with with cool characters. It's um, there's this corporate structure in it, and uh, you know it's really kind of all the shit that you rally against McCrae. I think that you'd fucking Fuck dig it. it. Yeah. So, yeah. Before, I mean, before you know, the before the show, you were like, well, "What were you saying?" You're something like, you know, it's it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty uh, liberal and uh, no, I don't I know. Said, but pretty I much said, what you're getting at is no, like, no, oh, it's a fucking hippie liberal said, bullshit no, I said, that you I said you'd, <laughs> you'd like it. I said you'd like it since you're, you're far left propaganda shit. <laughs> shit. No, it's, no, it's really, it's, it's actually brilliant. And like I said, uh, I just say that to get McCray going. It's funny. I so, get it. Yep. Fine. All right. Uh, no, but, a, you know, follow, follow Joe at Joe Harris. And uh, Joe, thanks again for letting me. Uh, preview that. So yeah, that's super cool. Um, definitely, uh, yeah. Uh, so, comics Corner. This is what our Comics Corner. Yep. Comics Corner. Comics, comics Corner. corner. Um, also, what I was thinking got? for Comics Corner, I don't know. I finished, uh, I finished, uh, what's it called? What? Uh, One Punch Man. One Punch Man? Okay. Yeah, the anime. And it is fucking did super good. It, did you get it free off of Comixology? <laughs> that's where I got my One Punch Man. Fuck. Well, no, because One Punch Man, like, the comic is actually, like, free online anyways. But then they redraw it or some shit. Um, yeah. And then, like, and then they release it in comic book form. So it's, like, this, like, online comic that was made into a more serious comic than was made into a cartoon. And season two is coming, which I'm super excited about. Really good show. Um, the other thing, um, Batman... New animated movie came out. Um, it's called, oh, really? What? It's called uh, Blood Family or Bad Blood. Bad Blood. Bad is, Blood. It, is it pretty sweet? No, it sucks. Because, I, I mean, I watched oh, like half really of it. Sucks. It sucks. Compared to like the fucking other stuff they put out, like Dark Knight okay, Returns, okay. which is Dude, fucking Dude, Batman has some, of the best, has some of the best, like, uh, more mature animation stuff out there. Yeah, but this one is all about fucking like, oh, there's a girl Batman that's running around and fucking shit up. Batwoman. And then all of a sudden there's like, black mech Batman, who's like, yeah. fly guy. That, like, and I don't know, like, as soon as you start in like, even all the fucking Robins together and fucking Dick Grayson together, like, that is such a fuck. it's... Well, Almost a what stretch. About, what me. about what is it? Was it, stretch, is, it the, but... uh, is it the Batman? Is that what it is that has a uh, katana? Oh, Batman and the Outsiders. Um, but it's the series. It's like CGI or whatever. It's all computer. Oh yeah, beware the yeah, Batman. Yeah. Beware the beware Batman. Beware the Batman. Yeah, that's yeah, I think yeah, pretty yeah. good. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, that one's uh, cool. Uh, Very cool animation. So, dude, but... I read a comic. I read a comic the other day that uh, honestly is uh, was was pretty pretty fucking rad. I didn't know what to expect out of it. Um, it's from a publisher that really I'd never heard of, mm-hmm. so uh, Aftershock Comics. Uh, but man, I gave it a shot. It's it's uh, written by Brian uh, Azzarello, I guess how you say it. I'm really shit. Azzarello, Azzarello. But uh, anyway, he's a big pimp. Um, he's he's written some little shit. But uh, anyway, I need to talk about American Monster right quick. What we're talking about? It's a uh, basically it, the first issue is it was really pretty badass. It's fucking gory, bloody. It's uh there's Everything from uh, pervert in the park to fucking, in the park. Uh, a disfigured uh, soldier that was kind of looks like blown up and horribly disfigured that uh, tells this dude to blow him in a uh, diner and <laughs> that was a big scene. Sweet. And uh, anyway, it's honestly it's it looks like it's a really awesome ep- uh, like a uh, first issue to set you up for some shit that's really gonna go down like crazy style. It almost Sweet. feels like. It honestly almost feels like it could be leading to like what fucking uh, t- True Detective season two or like I didn't see season two but like what it should have been should've like been. a story that's that okay. good yeah yeah, yeah like it, it's cool. really good so uh, anyway uh, definitely something to check out there um, uh, but, but anyway it's uh, the arts by uh, Wando and just incredible it was a really incredible first issue so go check that out it is available in Comicsology. Um, the other thing I think the last thing for Comics Corner probably is that. One of our very own big brother brethren is going to be on The Flash. Yeah. Coming up. 
I think that I he's publicly. I think he's publicly he, released. He's tweeted. He's uh, he's showed some pictures. He showed the picture of the set. yeah the script. Yeah. Um, Peter Brown is yeah, gonna be on the flag. Dude, I'm stoked. Dude, I'm so I'm stoked. So he's stoked. officially gonna be a part of DC lore. Uh, I know, forever. I know, dude. Like, I'm so jealous of that. Um, yeah, because okay. yeah, he's like a stand-in. He used to fill in for uh, what's it, uh, Harrison Wells. Uh, Harrison Karen Wells, Dills. yes, yeah, stand-in, yeah, yeah, yeah Tom Cavanaugh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he'd so, always take pictures and send them to me and you, just of like oh, no, the flashes like, gloves, just, just to make me like I would pulsate with like dude, anger and jealousy. Yeah, yeah so, I was just like fuck. I want to be there so badly. Yeah, so that's super cool. Wherever uh, you will be sure to uh, tell you guys about that. Yeah, love, love that he's so involved because like they shoot a bunch of stuff in Vancouver and uh, like anyway, I think he's expanded not to just Flash but to some other uh, uh, other DC shows working on him. So anyway, yeah, I, I read uh, somewhere that he's probably going to be uh, Apocalypse on yes. the TV show. <laughs> yeah, um, or Brainiac. He's uh, no dark dark side. Man. He's gonna be dark side. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, that <laughs> Looks so much mistake. like my mistake. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> so, how you know what? I think uh, Scott Snyder, that writes so uh, Batman, must be watching the podcast because he just tweeted about it. Oh, about so, the podcast? No, just about a, a monster number one. Uh, so yeah, yes. Yeah, so that, that uh, uh, Brian uh, Azarello, he wrote a uh, um, uh, hundred bullets, which was oh, like God. a decent Vertigo series. So definitely anyway. that. All right, that uh, yeah. that about wraps up Comic Corner. Comic All right, Corner. Yeah, that's pretty much done with that. Uh, do we have anything else really to mention? We're just gonna kind of wrap it up. Uh, oh, you know what I wanted to mention. This is a fucking shout out, dude. This mm-hmm. is serious. Um, uh, Pop and Paul, Paul Jackson, yeah. has been dying and like exercise and lose weight. He's, He's also looking like good, like a month. Yeah. He looks fucking rad, dude. Yep. So big shout out to him. Yeah, uh, the good like work, that's brother. incredible. Keep it up, man. Keep it up through 2016. Total inspirational. Yeah. I need to go up there and just follow him around and eat whatever he eats and dude, lift whatever yeah. he Yeah, like he's your fucking samurai master. Like, he really you is. Fucking I, pray at the fucking feet of Paul, Pop and Paul. Dude, the dude absolutely. <laughs> dude, you know when he was announcing the cast, I was so stoked because I mean, it was it was really my first. Oh, like older gentlemen root for him. I'm always gonna root for the older guy, cast, the oldest guy cast. You know what I mean? So and you he act like you're point. a fucking he, prospector. And shit. No, I'm not. Pro- I'm just. I, saying. Love, I love the. Oh, Jerry was Jerry your favorite? Like, no. <laughs> I mean, like, no. I mean, obviously not at the time. Now I can appreciate the oldest person in the house, not the oldest person in the house, but the oldest guy in the house. You know. So I'm not saying that. I mean, it's just. You're just picking ponies, brother. You don't know shit what's going to happen. You're just guessing. Just <laughs> yeah, of course. Thing. But, uh, but anyway, cool. okay, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, make sure you go to our SoundCloud and listen to the old episodes that you may wanted to hear but didn't want to sit through, uh, you know, in front of your, you know, computer or whatever. Uh, what else we got to cover, brother? I think that's about it. I think we've done good. Yeah, pretty much. Um, please help me donate to my reality rally. Um, yes, get that do thing that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a Twitch, 24-hour Twitch. Everyone, you can always watch me on Twitch. You can catch up with me on Periscope. I always do Periscopes at work. It's pretty fun. Um, but yeah, you can catch me on Twitch whenever. Um, also, yeah. Also, I want to get this Discord thing to fucking work. I want like our community to just be on Discord all the damn time. Okay. Discord, the fucking text chat, as well as it's like Skype without video calling. Okay. Well, I mean, it's something that we can definitely explore. Yeah, so. if you have Discord, uh, fucking hit me up and I'll hook you up. I'm I'm officially a part of the Discord team, so officially we're kind of sponsored by Discord. I'm going to get my Discord sweatshirt. I'm going to be wearing it all the time. Pumped well, about get, it. Get me one. I'm cold as hell down here. I'm cold as <laughs> circuits on right now. Oh, you're cold. Oh, <laughs> it's so cold, I bet. Man, it got Bro, to like it. negative 25s. Well, you know, bro, bro you <laughs> just uh, move exposed out. to California weather. You can move somewhere else. Yeah, fuck. You know? um, I think so. I had something else. Oh, hey, shout out to Brendan and Rachel. Um, she's been posting. They they were in Australia, I think, mm-hmm. not too long ago, on a little vacation. You know, I guess getting ready. You know, pre baby vacation kind of thing. I guess maybe why she can still fly. There's probably about a rule on that one about flying and being yeah. pregnant. But anyway, going on uh, big shout out to them, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, excited to see. In the future, I don't even know when their babies do, but uh, you know, it's cool to see see it going. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The progression, and everything. Same with Erin. Erin uh, Grease, big shout out to her. Uh, she's got a vlog uh, that she does on her YouTube channel, so uh, make sure that you follow her. It's Erin Williams now. Yeah, you know, 
we know her lovers here in Greece. Yeah. So anyway, all right. Well, let's uh, let's take it home, McCray. That's it for us. Um. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what else I have. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe on iTunes. Uh, subscribe to the one that's not my face. Um, and we'll get that done quick. We want stuff <laughs> uniform and easy. Dude, shit. it's so like, tough. McCray, I tell it's you, gotta it's be so way for you to fucking go tough. Stuff. It's Dude, gotta be way for you to it's delete it. It's so tough. I cannot do it. Okay. I haven't been able to do it forever. Oh, and check your DMs because I sent you the password. Change all the passwords oh, yeah, to that, that so we can all access everything. Okay. I thought, yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing that. What do you mean? Oh, that sounds. If insane. it has to be changed, just change it to that. Well, yeah, if ever. Um. All right. Well. Uh, yeah. So everyone, go do that on iTunes. Uh, go hit us up on SoundCloud. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, follow Spencer at Spencer B. Clausen. Follow me at McCray Chum. I'm McCray Olay on Instagram. I don't know. It sucks. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm sure that's a real exciting Instagram to keep up with. Fuck yeah, a lot of crazy... <laughs> co- Pictures of you. Uh, yeah, ah! ga- ga- gas station shenanigans. <laughs> Pretty All much. Right. All right, All uh, right, I'll see you guys later, and uh, thanks for hanging out. And uh, you have anything else, Spencer? That's it. If you like this, share it. Make sure you subscribe, and uh, catch you next week. Yeah, I'll see you guys next time on the block. Bye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.